Good afternoon. <coughs> oh dear, let's try that again. Good afternoon. The time is 11.57 and it's week three, day five of HGV driving. It's actually flew. I can't believe it's gone this quick. Um, it only seems like five minutes ago when I started, but it also seems like I've been doing it forever. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. But anyway, what I thought I would do in today's video is give you a tour of the cab, show you what I've got in here and what I bring with me when I come to work. Um, I'm just on my break at the moment, so I thought this is a perfect time to film a video. So let's switch to the other camera and I'll show you what I've got in here. Right then, we'll start with the steering wheel. So just a basic steering wheel. Here's the buttons for cruise control. I was told that these buttons don't work and cruise control doesn't work in this lorry. But I'm pleased to say that after flicking that switch there, now my cruise control works. <laughs> so it seems that it didn't work because the button wasn't flicked. But there you go, we're in the wagon. We have 354,747 kilometers on this lorry. That is a lot. The rule with this company is either the lorry gets to a million kilometers or 10 years old and then they put it on the queue to be replaced uh, we've got the in cab phone here and that's connected over there so i can call the office or breakdown or whoever i need got my handbrake here funny place when i first started i kept going down here by the gear stick for it but it's over there got a little key ring here that my colleagues bought me when i was a teacher one of my colleagues got it for me and said you know just be happy really because the whole reason i quit teaching and did this hgv driving is on a quest to be happy really so i've got that in here uh, over in the middle i've got my wet wipes which i think are an absolute godsend for cleaning your hands and cleaning the dashboard and things or anything that gets a bit mucky notepad and pen always bring a notepad and pen that's my advice if you're a newbie because you're going to forget everything when you first start um, I've got a little tray here which I've got addresses in or phone numbers of anybody that I need. I've also got there some earphones and an adapter for a phone charger. Over here I've got a Bluetooth gizmo that I bought from Amazon and what it actually does is it connects to your FM radio so that there is given a frequency of 87.5 and I've tuned my radio to 87.5 FM and then you connect your phone to that Bluetooth thing and then it plays your music from your phone through that but then it sends it by FM signal to your radio so your music plays through the lorry speakers so if you have an old lorry like this one and it doesn't have a USB input or anything then you can still listen to your music if you don't want to go CDs um, you can still listen to your music it also connects to your phone calls as well so if someone calls you you get a hands-free thing on here so that's really cool I do recommend one of those I think that's cool it's lovely having your own music as you're going around it brightens the day up a bit especially if it's raining uh, over there we've got the passenger seat I've got a box of plastic surgical gloves I bought from Amazon to try and keep my hands clean if I'm handling something particularly dirty then I'll put a pair of those on under my normal gloves got a basket here that I put all the paperwork in so when I take my paperwork in the morning and then all the ones that are signed go in there I've got my defect book here which is where you write anything in there like if your lights don't work or anything and I've also dug out a really old wallet that I had and in here I keep my tachograph card and my CPC card because you have to carry this with you um, by law uh, when you're professionally driving you don't actually have to carry your driving license with you so that isn't in there and what I do when I've finished is I put my key in there for the lorry and then I wrap that up safe and I keep that in my work bag which I've got over here I keep that in the front pocket there and then hopefully I don't forget my tachograph card because on my first week I did forget my tachograph card and then I had to go home and get it and then I left the tachograph card in there all weekend, so that was a bit of a disaster. Anyway, I've got my iPad here. Um, I use that to FaceTime my partner when it's break time. 
Um, I connect it to my phone on personal hotspot and I've got unlimited data. Um, this is connected to that Bluetooth thing over there. You can charge your phone on there while it's um, playing. Over here is um, a funny drawer thing really. It pulls out further but it doesn't tuck all the way back under. So it's kind of just there as storage. So what I did is I bought a bin from the range and I put my rubbish in there from my lunch. I've got my drinks bottle here, some headache tablets. I've got down the bottom there some emergency energy drink, just in case I get tired. Bin liner bags, um, breakfast bars, Harvest Moon from Aldi, Aldi's finest they are. And then I've just got my Hivey's hoodie, coat and stuff over there. There is a hard hat over there. I think that was the previous drivers. It's a bit scuffed up and a bit dirty, but I don't have to use that for any of the things I do. And then over here I've got my work bag which I bring my lunch in and over there this part here is actually a bed for you to lie on but it's quite small you have to be quite thin to get on there uh, and over there you've got your controls for like your heating and for your lights and controls for your radio so if you are lying in this bed you can still control your radio there's a light over there and then there's a light here if you want to put some lights on if you're lying in bed and then you've got your curtains we've got all of these compartments here which I haven't put anything in really I just leave everything where I've shown you um, 13 4 is the height of the lorry 13 feet 4 and then I've got my tachograph there um, yeah and these flaps to keep the sun out your eyes and so on so there you go down here in the driver's door that's where I keep my gloves for when I get out the lorry then I can reach them because on my first week I had a habit of getting out the lorry and leaving the gloves in the middle there and you can't reach them so there you go switch back to the other camera there you go then that's a tour of my cab um, nothing special really but it's my office on wheels and I like it uh, smaller than my classroom which is a shame doesn't have a sink like my classroom did which I really miss my sink because I used to wash my hands a hundred times a day I'm sure and that was driving me mad not being able to wash my hands um, as and when but you can wash them in the factories they don't mind if you ask nicely if you find one that's got some good facilities because a lot of them don't have good facilities um, so you have to know where the nice ones are but yeah, there's also a sunroof up there, which I haven't used yet, but yeah, there you go. Uh, this week has been good. Yesterday I had a puncher. Um, the other driver in the yard, actually, his lorry was leaning to the one side because his front left tyre had gone flat, flat as a pancake. So he had to get the breakdown out to him to fix that. And then thought nothing of it, and I went down to my first well not my first drop but my first drop in Birmingham and when I looked at the tire my front left tire had gone down so in the end I had to go to a tire place which was over the road from where I was funny enough they put some air in there for me and then I drove back to the garage which was the mechanics advice got myself a shiny new wheel and a new tire so I, there hasn't been any trouble with it today so that's good uh, but yeah, it's Friday, it's the end of week three almost, I'm just going to take back what I've collected now to uh, the yard and see where we're going next. But yeah, I'm loving it so far, I think this is the best thing I've ever done at the moment. I actually really enjoy it and I think I've took to it quite quickly. My body was aching the first few weeks and it still aches a little bit this week, just getting used to it and definitely the early mornings the half past four get ups in the morning have really took the toll on me this week I need to start going to bed earlier but there you go like I say I love this HGV driving and I hope that you've enjoyed having a look around the cab if you want to keep up with me you can subscribe and of course as always if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up and until then I'll see you in the next one